So speaking of things that you can have appreciation of, the final thing that I have for you tonight is a story about Bill Goldberg and Dolph Ziggler. Now, I'm not sure how real this is. So I, I, I need to press that when I say this. There was some kind of confrontation between Goldberg and Dolph Ziggler that happened, that, that became news probably around Friday. I thought this was during build-up to SummerSlam, and it was just now getting out, so I didn't think much of it. No, this just happened. So I, I went to a celebrity gossip site, The Blast. I think it's a celebrity gossip site. I've never read it. And it says, WWE stars Goldberg and Dolph Ziggler almost had a SummerSlam rematch when the two wrestlers happened to bump into each other during dinner. The melee almost went down last weekend, while the two superstars were both dining at Eddie Amo Italian Steakhouse located inside the D Casino in downtown Las Vegas. We're told Goldberg was at Eddie Amo with a, friends, with a group of friends, including uh, Bellator MMA fighter Roy Big Country Nelson. And this is going to make you laugh, Marcus. And at the same time that Goldberg was there, legendary adult entertainer Kendra Lust was celebrating her birthday at the same restaurant, and she happened to have Goldberg's nemesis... WWE star Dolph Ziggler at her table. Hi, Kendra. <laughs> Love your work. <laughs> so, Dolph is hanging out with porn stars. And Goldberg is hanging out with MMA fighters. Is this a work? <laughs> Are we getting trolled into, into wanting to see a rematch? I, I mean, that's what I immediately thought. That's why when I saw the story, I didn't even click on one because I don't really care look anything with Dolph I like Dolph man but anything with him is just black and, and Goldberg um you know me and Chad you know we 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 love Goldberg a lot but I'm just like okay what are they doing getting up for another bout that that don't make no sense why do we need it were they gonna have an actual match this time so I didn't care but then like the possibility that it it was real that might be even weirder right <laughs> it might be worse I'm like can we just get the match because I don't even want to deep dive into how this could have popped off. And why would Goldberg be, you know, because whether he's wrestling or not, Goldberg is not no little man. So, like, what could have possibly have, have been said or, or insinuated or something? I don't know. I feel like it, it was being worked. But then I know, like, knowing Goldberg, even though he's not the guy he used to be, he's he's not – too, too, too far from it in terms of stuff that could potentially cause him to go off, specifically if he's not in a setting around his family. So, oh, man. But shout out to Dolph. He's always around <laughs> some uh, very interesting women. Uh, he's been involved romantically, of, of, I guess, pelvically with Amy Schumer. Apparently, he smashed Sonny. And I wouldn't put it past him to end up with Kendra Love. So, you know. Dolph Ziggler's sexual history is disgusting. <laughs> Let's call a spade a spade. I think he slept with Trisha Paytas, who's like a YouTube star, who is just like... Yeah, not about that twit. Yeah, <laughs> she, that, that, oh. she's a white frog who thinks dogs are evil. I don't know how you get there, but she got there. So Ziggler <laughs> has a really odd selection of women, but let's be clear here, because Dolph Ziggler's real name is Nick Nemeth, and his family isn't exactly the most normal. Um, his brother is in jail for committing murder. So if Dolph Ziggler is sleeping with, with uh, porn stars, I think that's about par for the course for the Nemeths. I, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> It's not Briley. It's not Briley Pierce or Briley Nemeth, whatever no. his name is. This is a non-wrestling brother. Just, just so we're clear. But to me, I, I wonder how truthful and how accurate this story is because it's so obtuse. Dolph Ziggler's celebrating a porn star's dinner when Goldberg walks in with a Bellator fighter. Like this sounds like the setup to a bad wrestling angle. But it's probably yeah. not. Yeah, like I said, he, I mean, he just got the straps. Why would Goldberg come back for another Ziggler match? 
I, I, I mean, look, I mean, not all these guys are friends just because they say it on social media or portray it on screen. Um, so, you know, probably should get out of that headspace. I wouldn't want to be like one of these fans. I thought all you guys were friends and all this stuff. So, yeah, something might have popped off. I mean, Dolph, the headspace he's in with the company, even though he is a champion right now, you know, he's kind of in that effort mode. I kind of know what I'm here for. So I don't know how that popped off or whatever, but uh, yeah, that that might be even weirder than Dolph's drop off as a character on WWE television. So I think the thing that which is makes sad. <laughs> yes, I think the thing that makes me pause is that he, this article claims that he was there with Kendra Lust. If this was an an angle by the WWE in, in 1999, I 100% now think that this is a a, a gimmick, a story. Something for television. But in 2019, there's no way they would greenlight a porn star being involved in an angle. In any no. way, shape, or form. So, so that, to me, makes this very real. But I could be wrong. Yeah, well, the interesting thing, of course, I would know this because I did watch several interviews and stuff. For everybody. research but- purposes. Of course, that's what we do. I take I take my uh, lead from you, sir. But um, I do know she is a big wrestling fan. She's attended several uh, WWE events, of which she usually posts from in the crowd on Instagram and such. And uh, she was, of course, me knowing this for research purposes, in a uh, I guess porn parody where she was a I guess diva, and she banged uh, John Cena. So in an actual ring. So and she's definitely a wrestling fan. <laughs> so I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past her to have a wrestler at her table. Um and the fact that it's Dolph who like we like we said we just ran down a piece of his pelvic history. So it's kind of almost fitting uh, awkwardly in that way. But uh how that went from those two to him getting into it with Goldberg and a potential fist fight that has nothing to do with a wrestling angle. Oh, that's almost too much of a stress to even want to investigate. But it's even more ridiculous if it actually is an angle. <laughs> so, it's, 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 oh. Okay. So, I was trying to remember who Kendra Lust was. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, back in 2013... And, and Marcus, I didn't remember this until you talked about her, her parody flick. There was a rumor going around that Kendra Lust was sleeping with John Cena in real life. She denied that this was going on. But I, now I have some questions. <laughs> because this whole thing feels like it's deeper than it really is. Like, on surface, like, Kendra Lust has been linked to John Cena. Dolph Ziggler really doesn't get along with a lot of people. And I'm sure uh, Dolph Ziggler was in love with John Cena's ex-girlfriend, Nikki Bella. Like, is this some kind of weird power play by Dolph to get back at John Cena? I don't know. I, I don't like, I, I know him. Marcus, I'm stretching so hard, I pulled my back out. I understand this. <laughs> but, like, what if? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, well, I, I wouldn't put, look, I wouldn't put it past Cena to get someone to, wait a minute, is this is this Nikki overlappage potentially here? It, it, I think it might be, like, in terms of, like, Dolph and Nikki dated, then John and Nikki dated, and then Dolph tried to get back with Nikki allegedly. And I I could very much imagine that oh. he dates he's now with Kendra <laughs> because of the rumors or alleged affair. I could me see and, that. Me and Chad, me and Chad just uh, unpurposefully stumbled into a little mini six degrees of separation here. Um, Eskimo cousins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't. I, and I, I know she's uh, again because I, I listen to the interviews and stuff like that. She's she's. Um, Married, has a family and all that, but I, she may very well have like an open relationship or whatever, or what have you, or just do what she wants safely, of course, I guess. But, uh, wow, that, 
I didn't, because I, I forgot about that little tidbit nugget right there because she always denied the thing, and I don't even think, of course, Cena would never talk about it because why not? Um, but I, she could have very well have just did that to protect Cena and obviously not ruin anything for her because she might view these wrestlers like other or, or groupies uh, view like football and uh, basketball players. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's a thing. And, and some of these wrestlers might view her the same way. So, still trying to figure out where the freak the Goldberg came in at. Because if he used to go with Kendra, <laughs> now we got a real problem. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Kendra was... It, let's just assume she did sleep with John Cena. Let's just play that assumption game. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if Cena had her sign a non-disclosure agreement before smushing. Which would mean that she would be essentially forced to say no John and I never had a thing when asked about it but like Dolph dating someone or or being around someone with ties or rumors to John Cena like when when you know John and Dolph aren't on the closest of terms like it feels a little bit sketchy and then you could just tell that maybe Goldberg knew like maybe he knew about the whole thing and that's what set him off like maybe he said something to uh, Dolph about Kendra and John Cena. I don't know. Like, oh my God, this is that was such a more juicier story. I was, I, I only brought it up because I thought it was interesting that they almost actually fought. But like, we, oh my God, we just found like a, the conspiracy theory is real. This, this is a completely separate show. Um, almost another deep dive show potentially. Uh, like a Freaky Friday thing. But uh, it'd be weird if like the biggest takeaway we come out of this is like Goldberg's a closeted John Cena stand. <laughs> He goes home snarling and hissing and go to bed, son. And he's just like he walks into the, the little room in his, his little office, closes the door, locks the door, opens up the, the, the wall, takes a deep breath. I can see you, John. <laughs> and then he just puts on like the John Cena wristbands and puts on the John Cena hat a little bit crooked. And then he just goes, but da 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 da. He's basically season one arrow with a list of, of people who offended or disrespected anything John Cena related. <laughs> Matt Riddle, check. The Undertaker, check. Dolph Ziggler, check. Brock Lesnar, double check. Looks down the list. Jonathan Coachman, you're next. Just like random. Speaking ass. of weirdos, and of course, speaking of weirdos. Riddle could not ignore jumping in on this. Of course not. Of course not. That dude is so <laughs> desperate for attention. That dude couldn't finish a fucking fight in the UFC, and he's not going to finish one in goddamn pro wrestling now. Like, come on, Riddle. I like that he had a conversation with Goldberg, and Riddle basically was so obtuse, and, like, there was no detail what, what like, transpired. He's like, Oh, yeah, it's just uh, we agreed to both go our own separate ways. I doubt that's what Goldberg said. I bet you he put the fear of God into Riddle. Because Riddle, is, you know, everyone thinks that, yo, you're an MMA fighter, you're really good at fighting. He's, that's not exactly true. Matt Riddle threw the most punches at the time in UFC history for a man who's had X amount of minutes in a fight. Marcus, if I were to basically ask you to describe someone who threw the most punches and only had one knockout, what would you describe them as? A great fighter? Or a bad fighter? Probably on, I'm going to lean toward the side of bad because uh, good fighters usually land their shots and if, even better fighters don't need that many. Chuck Liddell did not need 30 fucking punches in a fucking round to deny, knock a guy out. Just, just saying. Sometimes, you know, like, one shot's all that matters. Big, heavy hands. It works. I, I'm going to be interested to see how this story plays out because I doubt we've heard the last of this. There's going to be more, and I cannot wait for all the juicy, gossipy details about it. Because in my head, John Cena has been trying to replace Nikki Bella with Kendra Lust. And now Dolph Ziggler, who's been standing with Kendra Lust since he got rejected by Nikki Bella, after John and Kendra Lust had their own tete-a-tete, it's now becoming this whole big thing, and WrestleMania it's going to be a Kendra Lust on a pole match. And I'm all here for that. <laughs> yeah. Make it happen. 
Me too. It'll yeah. be a stripper pole, and she's not hanging. She's just dancing on it. <laughs> while Cena and Z- Ziggler wrestle. And Goldberg's in yeah. Cena's corner dressed as a John Cena fan. <laughs> Goldberg's the stand referee. The special stand referee. He's wearing a Goldberg. He's wearing a John Cena t-shirt. Oh, but it's, oh, oh, even better. He's in the full thugonomics gear. <laughs> With the with the with the with the knuckles and everything. The about some word life. The fucking cheat shorts. Oh my god. He's unstoppable. We're in oh, life. Man. This is basic thugonomics. Wicka 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 wicka. Basic thug 